The 2D bounding tool is usually used for the purpose of defining the boundary of punches in the die design. However, it can also be used to define the size of your stock and save you a substantial amount of material. Let's look at this part. You will probably define the stock of the part by a simple rectangle and try to minimize its size as much as you can. This will yield the following result. To find the optimal size for the stock, you can use the 2D bounding tool. First draw a composite curve around the part. Expand the curves menu and activate the 2D bounding tool. Select the composite curve. This tool allows you to select between several types of boundaries by box, by circle, or by enclosing polygon. The system creates the bounding curve on the XY plane of the active UCS. You can change this plane by selecting a planar face from the part's geometry. In this case, we'll select the Buy Box option and ask the system to find the optimal orientation and size by changing the Manual option to Auto. The optimal size of the bounding curve can be changed either by changing the offset value or by defining the exact value. In addition, you can also create a UCS that will correspond with the bounding curve shape and position. This UCS is used to position the part in your mold base. Here are two mold bases. On the right, a mold base created using the 2D bounding tool for the definition of the stock size. On the left, a mold base created without using this tool. As you can see, the difference in the mold base volume is significant.